Baruch Hashem, it is day number 45 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in our daily study of Mishnah Torah, we are in chapters 24, 25, and 26 of Hilchas Shabbos. So we're still learning Shabbos. And we have another positive commandment. So far, we've had... Um, we had one positive commandment re- re- regarding Shabbos, which was uh, boys to rest. We had a negative commandment, Leisase Chomalacha, not to do any work or creative, productive uh, activity. We had a specific prohibition, Leisavaru Eish, don't kindle a fire. We had another prohibition, uh, don't leave your place on Shabbos. So we only had one positive commandment. And even that positive commandment of, of Tishbois, of rest, was by not doing something. <laughs> you're resting. It is a positive thing, but it's you're, you're, rest, you're, you're doing it by not doing other, th- other things. You know what I mean? But here is a real positive commandment, meaning it's something you actually do, an activity that you actually do. Get ready. Positive commandment number 155. What is positive commandment number 155? Zacher es yem hashabbos. Remember, remember the day of Shabbos. What is remember the day of Shabbos? you know that there are two versions of the Ten Commandments. There's Parshish Yisroi in the book of of Shmois, in the book of Exodus, and there's Parshish Vashanan in the book of Dvarim, Deuteronomy. Um, So in the Ten Commandments, the way it says the mitzvah of Shabbos is different each time. There's Shomer and there's Zacher. Shomer means guard the Shabbos. Zacher means remember the Shabbos. What's the difference between Shomer and Zacher, which we know, as you say in Luchad Dedi, Shomer of Zacher bedibor echad, really Hashem said them both simultaneously in a way that it's impossible for a human being to produce or to hear. It was miraculous. Um, Shomer as a Shabbos means to refrain from any of the things you're not supposed to do on Shabbos. Zohar as a Shabbos means to proactively do the things you're supposed to do on Shabbos. And biblically, biblically, what does that mean? How do you biblically perform the mitzvah of Zohar as Shabbos? Through proclaiming when Shabbos comes in and proclaiming when Shabbos goes out and... Rabbinically, we do this over a cup of wine. You may be familiar with Kiddush and Havdalah. The way we perform the biblical mitzvah of Zohar Esa Shabbos is that we proclaim the sanctity of Shabbos when it comes in by making Kiddush, and we proclaim the Shabbos leaving and the six workdays beginning again with Havdalah after Shabbos has concluded. That is Today's commandment, positive commandment 155. Okay, we're gonna we're doing more Shabbos. We got more Shabbos, and we'll see you tomorrow, uh, God willing.